Well, we do have an email question uh, from a viewer. Ken wants to know when the law says a property owner should have known about a dangerous condition on their property. What are some examples of that? Yeah, that's, um, you know, mainly that's going to going to kind of apply to a, a business, to a company where, um, you know, let's let's say there's a, a, you know, wet floor or a broken step or, you know, whatever it may be, a store has a higher duty than a, um, you know, than just a, like a property owner or a homeowner, if you were a guest, you know, going to the homeowner for a, a, a party or something like that. But, you know, let's say you're a grocery store or some type of convenience store, you have a duty to make sure that there are not any, um, d what we call defects, um, is, is, as far as, you know, whether it, again, whether it be a wet floor, broken step, something of that nature, you have a duty to inspect um, that. And so sometimes when, you know, the store may not know that there was a problem, but they should have known because that defect should have been known within, you know, a certain time period, you know, um, 30 minutes, an hour, something like that. So that's why, that's why you see a lot of stores and employees walking around and checking out aisles, uh, checking out bathrooms. You know, you may have seen in the back of a, of a door in the bathroom when it says, you know, last inspected by, you know, so-and-so an hour ago. That's because they're, they have a duty to inspect. So, and if they don't know that, then they may have should have known. And that's just as much as, um, you know, it, it, as far as knowing and should have known can be the same thing. Is that what you uh, find is, is typical in the cases that you uh, come across is that the business really just should have known, you know, maybe something was spilled on the floor and they just didn't take care of it in time. Mm -hmm. Then now it becomes a, a slipping hazard to a customer or what's kind of a common theme throughout when, when businesses are negligent. Yeah. I mean, you know, obviously if you, if you, you know, go and tell a manager at a restaurant that there's, you know, something on the floor and they look at it, um, they're typically going to, to go and, uh, you know, take care of that problem. Um, and, but sometimes that's not the case, but again, they have a, t a time limit. They can't just, you know, go about their business without inspecting their facility and seeing if there's a problem. And, um, you know, a lot of times we, I mean, we, we have cases right now involving water, spilled milk, chicken blood, broken steps, um, improper lighting, you name it. And so, um, and, and, and it, you know, you, you just cannot imagine the, the different scenarios that, that come across when, it, when people are at a business or at someone's home and they have a situation where they get injured. Chicken blood. Yeah. Did you say chicken blood? Chicken blood. Like at a grocery Believe store it or not, or? At, at a grocery store, a thin line of chicken blood from the freezer department uh, uh, to the cooler, and one of the, the bags were punctured. And, and, and if you know anything about chicken blood, which I'm sure you do, you know, um, slippery, nasty, and it, and it just the most slippery substance known to man. And um, this thin line came down because one of those bags were punctured. My lady slipped and fell, broke her knee, and end of story. Jeez. Well, and you know, <laughs> I, I don't mean to make light of these situations. No. I know people get uh, seriously injured. I mean, when you slip and fall, I mean, you can, I was in the case that you pointed out with the chicken blood, right. uh, your client had a broken knee, but I mean, people broken hips. I mean, people can get seriously hurt when they fall. No, I've had, uh, I've had um, three death cases because of slip and falls. And people, you know, a lot of times people just kind of make light of slip and falls like, oh, you know, you slipped and fell or you may have done it on purpose or this and that, whatever. But, you know, most, most of the times people, you know, they, they compute bad injuries with car wrecks, motorcycle accidents, things of that nature, which obviously is, uh, is a real thing. But a slip and fall, a lot of times, I mean, think about this, when you slip and fall, Depending upon which way you slip, a lot of times the first thing that hits is the back of your head. And, um, and we've just had some awful, horrible, and we've, you know, we've got probably 30 or 40 right now, just horrible injuries because of 
slip and falls or trip and falls. All right.